Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of ABAP programming. Our new topic is selection screen. Now selection screen is also called as input screen. Now what is selection screen or input screen? Word itself is saying it is a screen which helps us to pass or provide a input to the program. So if someone asks you what is selection screen or what is input screen, with the help of selection screen or input screen, we can provide a input to the program. So whenever we want to give a input to the program, we will always, always provide with the help of selection screen or input screen. Suppose if I will go for the system. Suppose I will go to SC38 transaction code. And suppose this is the program. I am executing the program. This screen, this screen, this screen is called as selection screen or input screen because with the help of this screen, you can provide a input to the program and based upon the input, the output will come. Suppose in our current scenario, what is the input to the program purchasing document number? Suppose if I am giving a input to the program and with the help of which screen I am giving the input to the program with the help of selection screen or input screen. So this screen is selection screen or input screen. Whenever I provided the input and I will click on to execute button. Now the output is coming. This is called as output screen. But the screen by which you provided the input is called as selection screen or input screen. Now the most most important part. What is the screen number of selection screen or input screen? Important question from the interview perspective also. So every selection screen or input screen always, always has the number thousand, always thousand. So for this input screen or selection screen, the number is always, always thousand. So if I want to check the screen number of this particular input screen, so I'll simply go to system. I will go to status. And you can see the screen number is thousand. So every program which has a selection screen or input screen, the screen number is always, always thousand. Now, what are the various ways to provide a input with the help of selection screen or input screen. Just now we discussed that we will provide the input through selection screen or input screen. But what are the various ways to pass the input? So we have always, always two ways. But is first way? First way is parameter and the second one is select option. There is no other way at all. You will always, always pass the input with the help of parameter or with the help of select option. Ultimately, input you will pass through selection screen or input screen only. But on the selection screen or input screen, you will use what? You will use what ways to pass the input? The first one is parameter. And the second one is select option. Now, what is parameter and what is select option? With the help of parameter, you can pass the single input. So parameters are used to pass the single input. Now, what is select option? Select option are used to pass a range of input. Or we can say with the help of select option, you can pass the multiple input. You can pass a range of input. 
you can pass multiple inputs with the help of select option. But parameter only only single input, select option accept a range of input, we can pass multiple inputs with the help of select option. Suppose if I will show you how parameter and select option look like. Suppose firstly, I will show you parameter. I'm going to a program. I'm running the program, suppose. Now I'm running this program. Whenever I'm running the program, this screen is called as input screen or selection screen. And have you seen? I can only only provide a single input of purchase document number, single input. And this single input, we are passing through what? We are passing through parameters. So parameters are used to pass the single input to the program. Suppose if I'm giving the input and clicking on to the execute button. So this is my output screen. So with the help of parameter, you can pass the single input. Suppose if I will go for select option. So this is my input screen or selection screen. Have you seen I can pass a range? I pass the range from three all zeros four to three all zeros ten. So how I am passing the range with the help of select option? This is range, but I can pass multiple values also. Suppose I do not want to go for range. I want three all zeros four and I want three all zeros nine. So see, I'm not going for a range. I'm just going for multiple inputs. If you want to go for range, you can put the value here. You can put the value here from to from from three all zeros four to three all zeros one zero. But now I'm not going for range. I'm just going for multiple values three all zeros four to three all zeros nine. So now I will simply simply click, click on to execute button and you can see three all zeros four and three all zeros nine are coming in the uh, output. So how you can give a range of input and how you can go for multiple values as an input with the help of select option only. Suppose I am not going for multiple values now. I will go for range suppose. So I will go for three all zeros four to three all zeros one zero. Now I am going for range and how I can go for range with the help of select option only and this is the output. Anyways, in the future, whenever we start with the practical part, you will get a full understanding of this particular parameter and select option. But as of now, the only difference which we discuss between parameter and select option is parameter accept a single input, select option accept a range of input. You can pass multiple values also with the help of select option. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, we started with selection screen. Selection screen is also called as input screen. With the help of selection screen or input screen, you can pass a input to the program. The selection screen or input screen number is always, always thousand. And we have two ways to pass the input with the help of selection screen. The first way is parameter. Second one is select option. Parameter accept single value. Select option accept a range of values or multiple values. In the next video, we will firstly dig down parameter then we will take down select option. So that's it in this video. Thank you.